Hi Virgo, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to do your reading in a moment. Just a few things here before we get started. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box if you'd like to check it out. I'm doing it a little bit different. Uh, I will be looking at the next few weeks energy. So after this YouTube reading, uh, the extended will be what's going to happen over the next few weeks. Um, also, I will look at all the other things I normally do about what they're thinking, feeling, upcoming actions, intentions, love notes, and guidance. So also, uh, I am giving away a free personal reading. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. Details are below. And the last thing I want to mention is there's two new links on my channel. One is a tarot shop. Uh, I am selling tarot cards. So you can check it out if you like on my website. Also, um, I'm not doing personal readings at this time, but if you'd like a personal reading, uh, I have some people on my website that are available for personal readings. Uh, so tarot readers uh, on psychics. So check it out if you like. And with that, Virgo, let's get started here. So let's pull the energy here for Virgo. Okay. So we have photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and make new memories. Okay, so I feel like someone's like, if you got somebody on your social media, I feel like someone's kind of stalking your social media or somehow they're seeing your photos. That's what Spirit's giving me there. Okay, oh boy, stabbed in the back. Okay, so this isn't always like that stabbed in the back energy. This also can be about heartache, separation so this feels like somebody you may be in separation with okay now they could have betrayed you that's gonna that could be for some of you maybe not all of you um, or it can just indicate that there's separation or distance between you and someone here and you have the Phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and changed mind all right so maybe here somebody's having a change of heart could be you could be the person that you're dealing with i'm going to also say here uh that's a rekindle energy and i'm going to say here you got on the bottom of the deck you have talking interested conversing more a weighted message arrives text or call okay so you're going to hear from this person i see conversations so it does feel you and somebody uh, may be able to rekindle something. And I'm going to say, it doesn't have to be someone that you recently dealt with. This could be somebody in your past. And it doesn't mean that, right, not everybody's going to be a betrayal or stabbed in the back. This could be something, uh, someone that you dated. And maybe it just wasn't the right timing. This could be like 10 years ago. Okay, it's going to be different for everybody. Some of you, yeah, it's going to be somebody recent. So, you know, take it how it resonates, right, Virgo? It's a general reading, may not resonate with everybody. So we're going to start with that uh, photograph energy. Why is the photograph energy here? So this is someone looking at your photographs. Yeah, look at that. Six of Cups energy. They're missing you. Missing you. Soulmate energy there reminiscing about the past that's the same energy it's validating that message eight of pentacles okay for some of you it could be somebody you used to work with let's see what else we have we have the high priestess and i'm going to pull um another card here and we have the eight of cups and bottom of the deck here we have the nine of pentacles okay so this may be somebody, um, I'm going to say, this could be somebody that you or this person walked away here in the connection or the relationship. But I sense here that this person is not feeling content. Okay, they're not feeling content about where things were left between you and them, whether it was a long time ago or whether it is recently here. Okay, this person is very attracted to you here with this Nine of Pentacles energy. So somehow, some way, they, they, they know that you're looking good. Maybe you're doing well in your career. Uh, probably know that because um, they may be stalking your social media or something like that, or you could work with this person, but needless to say, or this is how they remember you, okay? So, 
I'm going to say it could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, Pisces. We also have here Capricorn, Taurus, your energy, Virgo. Strong Cancerian, strong Pisces as well. So let's see what this stabbed in the back energy is. Why is the stabbed in the back energy? Okay, so it could be around, like I said, separation or heartache. What is this energy here for? Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh. Two cards. These are the same energies here. Three of swords. There's heartbreak here. Maybe heartbreak, a separation. Maybe you walked away or they walked away, but this person is hurting. Wow. The moon card. Okay, let's see what else. Seven of wands. Oh boy, four of wands. Some of you could be dealing uh, with a twin flame here with that four of wands energy. With the seven of wands there, you're heavily on this person's mind. You're heavily on this person's mind. This person has deep feelings and emotions for you, okay? And even if it's somebody from a long time ago, uh, they haven't forgotten you, <laughs> I'm just gonna say here, right? Wow. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Seven of Cups. So they may even be dreaming about you. But this person here, right, they haven't shown it. They haven't shown how they felt feel about you. Or, or um, I do pick up that this person's very guarded. Um, and that Four of Wands energy, this may be too, uh, that they may have walked away from this connection or relationship, may have thought they had other options. All right, and I'm going to say, Virgo, like you're the first uh, reading where I've picked up really a strong energy as someone from the past, because the other readings I've done, right, there's been a lot of new energy coming in. So let's see what this Phoenix is, because there's a new phase, right? Could be new love, could be this person. Let's see what the, the Phoenix energy is. What's this new phase coming in for Virgo? What can you show, Virgo? Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Tower, we have the Page of Cups, and we're going to clarify some of these cards, and we have the Three of Cups. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is what's happening. Look at that. Right before the Talking card, you got the King of Wands. This person's going to take action. You got somebody here who's coming towards you. They're going to send you some sort of message here with that Knight of Pentacles. It's going to happen when you least expect it, really, is what it's showing me here. We'll see when we do the extended, right? Because I'm giving timing there over the next few weeks. Page of Cups and the Three of Cups, okay? This is someone who is coming towards you, right? They're going to feel it out. And I'm going to say for some of you, <laughs> there's a new phase here. And, I'm, and you, you know, you got a Knight of Pentacles and you have a Page of Cups. I'm going to clarify the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups because this could also, the surprise here could be that there could be more than one person right? And you may be talking with more than one person here with the Three of Cups. For a lot of you, I do feel like it's one person. You're going to get a message from this one person here, um, as it says up here, the talking card. So before we get up to the talking card and see what's going up there, we're going to uh, clarify the energies here. Some of these energies. I want to clarify that moon card, right? What's what's hidden? What what needs to be revealed here with the moon card? Why is the moon card here, please? All right, we got the three of wands. We got the ace of wands. King of cups. Yeah, the empress. This person, uh, they want another opportunity with you. Okay, so this person has already set the intention that they're coming towards you. And look what's at the bottom of the deck again. Three of Cups. This person wants to reunite with you. They want to start communicating with you. Uh, look at that, King of Cups. They've always had love for you. And it's showing me here too with the Empress. It's a new beginning. It's the birth of something new. That's that new phase here. So they're hoping for the opportunity. Uh, the Three of Wands shows me here. Right, they are thinking about the future. They are thinking about the possibilities here. 
and uh, very much so this person's attracted to your energy. So I see communication, I see conversation. Look at that, Six of Swords, Ten of Cups. I see things uh, moving in a better direction, things getting better. They're hoping that things are going to get better here in the situation. Some of you may not even want to deal with this person. You know, everybody's going to be different, especially if you were stabbed in the back. But let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups because we got potentially two energies, but it may just be the same person. Why is the Knight of Pentacles? Because this is in the area of a new beginning or a new phase in your life. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, so we got the Queen of Wands. We have the Death card, Scorpio energy. Again, transformation, change, new beginnings. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I feel, um, again, new beginnings, new cycles. I feel like this uh, Knight of Pentacles is someone um, that you know. This is the person that you know, okay? They're seeing your worth here. They're very attracted to you. They're, uh, they're taking action. You had the King of Wands, now you got the Queen of Wands. They're definitely taking action here. They're hoping to change things, okay? Let's see why the Page of Cups is here. Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, oh boy, <laughs> Three of Cups. Interesting. I'm going to clarify this Three of Cups before I say anything because I feel... It could go either way here. Why is the three of cups here? And then I'll read them. Why is the three of cups here, please? All right. You got the wheel. Justice. Full card. Wow. Wow, Virgo. These are all major arcana cards here, clarifying the three of cups. And you also have here, um, big changes are happening here, two of wands. It's going to be your decision. I do feel like there's two potential energies here. I feel like you got someone here that you dealt with in the past, okay? No matter what the situation was, this person does have feelings for you. This person's very attracted to you. They're, they're coming towards you, right? They're coming towards you here, and I feel like this is someone who actually may be, and I don't see this very often, may be more consistent with you than they were in the past, okay? Because this is someone who's really seen you as somebody uh, taking good care of themselves or, or maybe you're doing well in your career. You're really standing out to this person. Now you have uh, the page of cups here. And this is where I feel like there could be a new a new person coming into your life. You got the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So I also feel here, Virgo, there's somebody else coming into your life. This is a, this is the new phase in your life. And some of you maybe you've never, you know, it's gonna be different for everybody, but maybe you haven't had two people in your life at the same time. And this is a big change in your life. So you're going to be, you know, talking with other people, meeting other people here. Uh, this King of Pentacles. I'm going to say this could be somebody where you network with this person in some sort of way. So this could be through work. This could be, uh, you know, online somehow with work. Or even if you're, you know, maybe if you're dating. Um, or if you go and do some, you work on certain projects or hobbies where you're working with other people. And um, also social events here, okay? So I feel like you're going to be connecting to somebody new, and I feel like you're going to be connecting to this other person. Now, what's interesting when I clarify this Three of Cups, some of you, this is a twin flame too, okay? A twin flame also coming towards you. You have the Wheel of Fortune, and I might clarify this Four of Wands too. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice, Libra Energy, and the Chariot Cancerian Energy, Okay? I feel like the universe, 
is giving you the opportunity to move in a new direction in love, meaning I feel there's going to be another opportunity besides this person here from the past. And like I said, it's going to be different for everybody, but I feel that there is a change here that's going on. I feel like it's good karma coming your way. And um, I feel definitely movement forward, right? Some of you may even, um, I feel like there's some sort of travel here involved as well. Some of you may be doing some travel, um, but I see movement here in your love life. Good karma here that's coming towards you. Now, I, I do also feel here too, some of you are going to have to, right, make that decision, right, uh, a, a balanced decision between your head and your heart in the situation of how you're going to move in this situation because I feel like you're going to be connecting with more than one person and that's where the two of wands comes out. So there's going to be somebody that you're familiar with and there's going to be someone that you you know maybe they're flirting with you but they're that's not someone you really know okay so someone here you really really know and there's someone that is going to be flirting with you somebody new that's coming into your life and you're going to have a choice here the universe is giving you a choice between two people um and i feel like because i feel because the energy is showing me here maybe there were people in the past that weren't fair to you or didn't treat you right and that's why I feel like the universe is going to give you more than one choice here. Why is the four of wands here, please? Why is the four of wands here? Eight of swords. Oh, gosh. Page of wands. Hermit. Page of cups. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And knight of swords. Yeah. So there's somebody here, right? I feel like someone's returning. And it could be your twin flame. They're going to act like they're more consistent, right? But they're, they're somebody who takes their time. I'm going to say here, you got the Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands. This person's reaching out to you. I see talking. We're going to go to the talking in a moment. They're stuck in their head about you, okay? Um, they're thinking a lot about you. This is someone, too, who could be a hermit or they spend a lot of time alone. And then you got the Page of Cups. And that's also your your energy there, Virgo. So this person here, they're going to play it safe, I feel, when they reach out to you, right? They're going to send a small message. They're going to feel it out. They're going to see how you respond. Let's go to talking. What is the talking energy here? Show for Virgo. What can you show Virgo for? What's this talking about? <laughs> Text or call, whatever it is. Okay, three of pentacles, two of cups, oh boy, knight of swords, page of swords, yeah, okay, and the wheel, <laughs> the wheel keeps turning, Virgo, the wheel keeps turning, I'm gonna say here though, you have the seven of swords and you have the seven of cups, this is telling me again you're gonna have more than one choice. And I'm going to say this person that is returning, I would be cautious with this person because I don't feel like they communicate everything that they need to communicate. So they may hide things that may be secretive. I don't know uh, exactly what it is. You'll know what it is. But you got the three of pentacles here and the two of cups. So somebody here that you've had feelings for in the past, or maybe you still do, and they have feelings for you, there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to work on things, right? To reconnect, to talk here, knight of swords, energy, and the page of swords. This is where I feel like this could be somebody um, that you've had on and off communication with. This could be somebody too, like I said, I, I get an energy from this person that this is someone who may not be completely honest about things or they just don't, you know, they don't tell you. So it's not like they're not lying, but they just don't tell you for whatever reason. This is somebody who is spying on you, which I thought, I think I said that earlier. So they've been thinking about you. So they're showing me really that energy of the past person, but the universe is bringing you somebody else new into your life. Okay. Um, so you're entering a new phase in your life. I'm going to say Virgo. 
Well, the universe is trying to be fair to you, to give you more than one option. If you've been dealing with someone here that, uh, that you know, that hasn't treated you right, even though it feels like they're trying to come in more consistent. So I'm going to take it uh, to the extended. We're going to see how it plays out over the next few weeks. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.